Welcome to Battletech in the Morning with Captain Nips. I'm Captain Nips. It is Wednesday. We are standing tall and proud at the top of the hump day hill, staring off longingly at the weekend in the distance. It's just a slip and a stumble down that hill into the wonders of the weekend off. But you know what? There's still plenty of days of the week left between here and there, and there's plenty of Battletech to be played. So today, I would like to do a little field refit at the suggestion of a viewer. Thank you, Matthias, for your suggestion. Today, we'll be looking at the Firestarter. So the Firestarter FS9H. We all know it. We all love it. It brings a bunch of flamers, a couple medium lasers, some machine guns. And there you go. A light mech that's good for kind of support, some sort of battlefield control in terms of the beta, but it's got some rough edges that I would like to try and sand down at Matthias's suggestions. So I put together this refit. On the left you'll see the Firestarter 9H as default. You have the medium lasers in the arms, the four flamers, two in the center torso, one each in the arms. You've got jump jets, left and right torsos, machine guns, left and right torsos, and then machine gun ammo rounding it out. Unfortunately, all of that equipment means that the armor coverage on the default fire starter is a little thin at only 73.9% covered. So, here's my suggestion. We're going to drop the medium lasers to smalls. You give up a tiny bit of damage and a bunch of range, but it's not a huge trade-off in my mind for a mech that's already pretty short range to begin with. I'm also going to reduce the ton of machine gun ammo from one ton to a half ton, which is allowed for machine gun ammo. And then I'm gonna move it to the head because let's be honest, if anything is gonna be safe, it's gonna be stuffed into the cockpit because of course the cockpit never gets blown up. So let's put our ammunition there. Now with that extra ton and a half that we freed up with the switch to the lasers and the cutting the machine gun ammo in half, I'm going to reinforce the armor up to 94.11% coverage. Now, most of that armor goes onto the arms and the legs. There's a little bit extra on the torso, but not a whole lot. So this is going to mean, effectively, that your limbs are going to survive longer in fights. You know, the arms are going to stay on, your legs are going to stay attached. You might not see a huge overall bump in survivability, given that the torsos don't get a lot of extra armor as a consequence, but... I think if you're rolling your shoulders properly, presenting your left or right sides when you need to kind of spread damage, you will be surprised at how much more durable the re field refit will be. So I have taken a lance of the refit fire starter on the left, the default fire starter on the right. Pilot wise, I want to try something a little bit different today. Um, because these are light mechs, I think it makes sense to bring pilots with evasion because that's the kind of thing you would expect and want to see if you were playing against competent opponents. So Paradise clearly gets the nod because he also has Angel of Death being the only pilot with Angel of Death dethroning Showboat as our melee queen in the process. Uh, but Showboat does make an appearance here along with Blockade because they are two high piloting skill pilots. And I brought Wildfire as a high gunnery skill pilot so we can continue to get the feel for which is better for a mech like this, which is more probably melee focused, gunnery or piloting. The answer is gunnery. Let's just be honest with ourselves. Gunnery is where you want to be. At any rate, we're going to take this out to the stacks today because I haven't been there since last week. And we're going to get this started. Commencing deployment. Mech warriors, prepare for combat. So I'd like to thank Matthias for the suggestion of looking at the fire starter. I am a fan of the fire starter. I like it in tabletop. I like it in mechware online. I'm a huge fan of the Ember hero mech, which maybe I'll throw that into the backer beta here at some point just to see how that holds up. If you have a suggestion for a mech or a refit that you'd like to see on Battletech in the morning, feel free to just drop a comment somewhere in a video somewhere preferably one of my videos so that I could actually see it but you know whatever works so Good to go. here's our fire starter we got our four flamers with their woefully low fuel supplies 
the small lasers instead of mediums, and then the machine guns with their half ton of ammo. Which, let's be honest with ourselves, one ton of ammo for two machine guns is basically like 500 hours worth of continuous fire or something stupid. It's, it's entirely too much ammo. Like, for short to medium engagements, a full ton of machine gun ammo for two machine guns is probably overkill. So a half ton seems perfectly reasonable. Even if we are firing five shots per salvo, so we're firing 10 shots per round, 10, let's see, so that's 50 continuous rounds of fire. I think we'll be okay. So let's get, uh, let's get up the road here. What do you need? Not gonna, not gonna spare any speed today because let's be honest, my lance is nothing but short range, and so I need to get up into this fight as quickly as possible. I might, I might pull off right at the last second to, uh, to give myself a little breathing room, kind of hit some cover before the fight so I don't get plunked by lasers as I'm coming down the road. Maybe I'll take off to the right here. I don't normally... I haven't had too many fights down here. I've had a few fights down here, but not that many. We got bad guys. Boy, howdy do we. Alright, so... Is it time to go off-roading? I think it's time to go off-roading. Let's go off-roading. Hit that sprint button. Mash that sprint button. We're going to go down this way. Moving fast. I've got more There's the party. Instant furball as the uh, evasion gives Showboat a bit of breathing room here. Yeah. Let's move. Now, it's been a while since I played Light Max. An exclusively light mech match like this, so this will be this will be interesting. A little stretching of the strategic and tactical neurons to find some some sort of good maneuvering. I guess is where I'm getting at. I you know it, it, it's been a while. It's easy to forget positioning is important when you're going a hundred and. 120, 140, 100 kilometers per hour and trying to make sure that you don't get shanked in the back in the process. AI doing some, uh, um, we'll call it interesting maneuvering. How might I help? I'm just going to keep my group tight for the moment because I suspect that contestant number one here is going to be where we're going to start our party. And I don't know what's going on all around here. Whoa, hello. That guy took a ride. All right. What can I do for you? Showboat's got the con. I can roll up on here for cover and four dots. Or I can roll down here for cover and four dots. Problem is, is that now I'm officially into the ranges where things can run behind me. So I get the feeling that I'm just going to have to suck it up and there's going to be some backstabbing going on here. I would like to try and position Showboat such that she doesn't take fire from these guys up here, though. So I'm going to take three dots. Ooh, these numbers are going to suck hard. All right, but got it. that's what we got. We got to get up in there. Is it worth firing the flamers quite yet? Um, I'm going to save the flamer fuel just for this turn. I don't like these two hit numbers. They're not great. Maybe we'll find out that they're not going to get any better. Um, and then I'll turn them on. Oh, hello. 
Interesting. Right past that armor on the rear. But, now this guy has left himself pretty open. So we're going to take advantage of that. Yeah, we're going to take advantage of that. Keeping a very close eye on this guy on the left. He can see me from where he's standing at these two hexes. Not from here. That's curious. Some strange rocky terrain going on here. Confirmed. Blockade. Now blockade's definitely going to light the fire here because look at, look at those beautiful numbers. Look at those beautiful numbers. We are going to chew through this guy's backside like it was made Roger. out of tissue paper. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why we've moved the machine gun ammo to the head. Because one salvo later, this fire starter is missing a side torso. <laughs> then again, Blockade takes a shot to the face. Putting at risk our uh, wonderfully volatile uh, machine gun ammo. Alright, Wildfire can easily get in on this guy. Although, yeah, yeah, two pips of movement. That's fine. This is probably going to turn the target fire starter into a smoldering heap. I'm... What has he got left? He's got 51 structure center torso. I'm going to... It's fine. We're going to fire the flamers. I don't know. This might. This is probably overkill a bit. Especially if everything lands. But everything didn't. But man, look at all those. Look at all those warnings. Here comes the party. Blockade's taking heat. Yep, Blockade's probably going to get into melee next turn. Uh, speaking of melee, not a lot of reason not to come drop the hammer on one of these guys except for the fact that their numbers are all terrible everybody is still hot moving hot lots of speed so i think we'll take the safe bet and move paradise to here he's going to take the last of the rear shots on this guy he's got Seven structure rear side, so we don't need the flamers anymore. Machine guns and smalls should get this job done. Yep, there we go. Torch one fire starter. As the uh, fracas is well and truly joined at this point on round three. Ooh, blockade taking some rear shots. Ooh, that's not good. I'm, uh, generating a lot of heat. Yeah, about that. You're not actually generating it so much as you're getting pounded. Uh, let's see. What can we do about the heat situation? I wouldn't mind if you could get into melee with something. Because we're here, right? Oh, crud. Crud! Misclick. Well days since last misclick zero once again in the proud tradition of Battletech in the morning maybe I shouldn't be doing this in the morning when I'm still tired and haven't had my coffee I'm on it. let's be honest I don't drink coffee Damn it. yeah I'm with you blockade that was terrible that was just straight up ripe as day terrible where is this guy going taking the long route around what in a not even turning to fight. What the? Oh, boy. Yeah, once again, proving good to go. that perhaps it should have been left in the oven a little longer. Right, Commander. Showboat's going to get a real good opportunity on the rear of this fire starter. Two hit numbers aren't great because she keeps leading the pack with her attacks. Firing everything I've got. So let's just uh, see what we can land here. Lasers go long. 
machine guns and the flamers don't really crack the armor. That's unfortunate. As he goes speeding away. Oh. Flamer fight. Damage minor. Yeah, let's try and keep it that way, eh? Yes, Commander. Uh, let's see. How can... Would love to get behind this guy. Can I get behind this guy? Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, do you try and go for the rear on the guy that's got real bad numbers to hit? Or do you just face up on a guy that's easy to hit, get the damage on? I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna take my take my chances shooting at the guy where I can get damage on. And also, I'm gonna try and close this gap a little bit with these three mechs standing here. This guy next turn, unless I move, won't be able to run through. He'll have to run around, which forest makes that a little more tricky. Let's see here. My heat situation is good. This guy's heat situation is bad. Also, I have good numbers. So, flamer away. God, that... Oh, I just... Can I say, again, like, how freaking pretty the flamers are? Like, th that flame gout is... Truly ridiculous. It's being ridiculous. Catch a bit in the back and the arm. What's the plan? Paradise has a beautiful opportunity here to uh, plunk down on this guy. Not a huge fan of the fact I can't get behind. Oh, I can get behind him. How about that? This guy's going to have a real bad day in about three seconds. Oh, solid hit for 45 as we bring the rest of the weapons to bear. And I think this is probably... Oof. If you can manage it... Wow, look at all those numbers. Look at all those indicators. If you can manage this setup... If you can... Weasel your way into a pilot with Angel of Death and get yourself a fire starter that you refit with the refit build where everything fires on a melee attack. Every single weapon in its loadout goes off when you melee attack. That death from above was mean as hell. And I could see turning these fire starters with the correct pilots into like jump kicking ninja murder bots Waiting for orders. which coincidentally is the uh, working title of my new novel all right so showboat is gonna line up one on this guy in a real bad way and he already shut down once what are we looking at one <laughs> one structure in the center torso after paradise's murderous jump kick so we're just gonna drop this down to the essentials and probably kill this guy yep pop things going real well for team refit as we drop two fire starters in one go turn round five <laughs> this is gonna be a very very short match in fact if it's if it turns out to be super short I think maybe we'll do a double header. We'll see. Next thing on the agenda, though, is murdering the remainder of these enemy targets. So let's get that started by... Both these guys are going to have cover. Both of them are going to have movement modifiers. Let's move up on this guy in the street. Street road. Oof. Man, look at those. Look at those modifiers. Also, blockade is still running really hot. So we're going to just keep it to the machine guns for now. Do, 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 as we sneak a head hit in there. Showboat gets lit up. Nothing we can't handle. It's all good. And the AI showing its typical brilliance in the face of an overwhelming foe going for a uh, Going for some more of those, uh, you know, desperation shutdowns that it's so in love with. 
Confirmed. At this point, I, I just don't even care. I'm just going to give up my back to this guy because this guy's shut down. These numbers are ridiculous. I even get a called shot from behind. Come on. This isn't going to be stupid at all. Let's just murder this guy. Uh, I've got one flamer fuel left on wildfire. I'm going to go ahead and use it even though this guy doesn't need the heat. I just want to apply damage. Fire it. Man. Ooh. Enemy eliminated. On the plus side, I cooked that fire starter so hard from the center torso rear that it was the only section I destroyed. So all the rest of the equipment is good for salvage. How might I help? Meanwhile, back in uh, jumpy jumpy land, we're gonna we're gonna take a take a shot at this guy from downtown. I'm gonna land in the forest. I wish my guns had better numbers, but I'll take them because this is kind of a from downtown shot anyway. Got the torso with the melee attack. Flamers everywhere. Lasers firing. <laughs> disco, disco ball fire as the lasers are. I, I don't even know what you call that. Let's do a quick check of his legs. 30 to 75 after two DFAs. Probably got one more safe DFA left. Ooh. Oh, okay, that was really bad. All right. Commander? Blockade has an opportunity now. Not enough to get behind with a melee attack, so we'll just do it with guns. He's got the heat back now, so light this up. Let her rip. And there goes another machine go. Machine gun ammo explosion. As this last guy is gonna get real ripped up. Coordinates received. Critical hit. Waiting for orders. Can't quite find a good rear side target here. His blockade's already standing here. Gonna have to take this shot the best we can. And pop. Well, that wasn't disgusting at all, now was it? Six rounds. Let the timer come up. 18 minutes and 34 seconds as uh, my flamer team, my fire starter team, uh, murders the crap out of the other team. So that seems pretty good. But can we do better? Let's take in this. Let's take this out to a double header, shall we? No, it's not fair, clearly, clearly, it's not fair. And it's not been fair for a while for me to be pitting evenly matched lances against each other because as anyone that's played this game for long enough finds out, the AI is kind of a potato and as a consequence does not always make good decisions or decisions that make any freaking sense at all. So we're going to move this. Am I going to be able to fit under that? We'll see. All right. Um, I got something in mind here as we work our way back to uh, being set up. Grab our pilots. There we go. Lance in place. Now, what happens when we put a lance of fire starters of that ilk against a lance of the workhorse of the inner sphere? Can we fit the workhorse of the inner sphere in here? A couple of P's and a couple of G's. Mind your P's and G's. Oh, it can't quite fit. All right. Uh, if I change this, is it going to screw up the lance? Okay, good. 
So I'm going to give up s almost seven and a half million C bills on this. So let's uh, let's get some, let's get the pilots in where they belong. I'm going to take the same pilots as my pilots. They're not going to get quite the uh, advantage out of movement options as I am, but I have a strong feeling that this might be more evenly matched than the numbers are letting on. We're going to go back to the stacks. We're going to go back to that rainy day. We're going to get this underway. Commencing deployment. Mech warriors, prepare for combat. So 35 ton fire starters versus 50 ton hunchbacks. I think the over under says three dead hunchbacks before my lance gets wiped out. Granted, it's going to come down to some lucky shots. We'll, we'll see what the lucky shots have to say, but... I'm going to... So for this for this go-around, I'm going to play the first round straight. I'm going to move up this road again. I'm here. What's the plan? And... On the next turn, I think I'm going to dodge left, get down into the rocks and see if we can't split the enemy team up a little bit, because this is the point in the wider battle for the Inner Sphere where I don't want to be taking on their whole lance at once, because a pair of autocannon 20s and approximately all the medium lasers in the Inner Sphere all firing at my mechs seems like a bad deal. Seems like the worst deal. All right, so let's get down here. Can't get any sensor. Yep. Hey, look, there they are. Barely off their spawn. Their spawn not, must not be. Their spawn must be like, because the, here's the back line. Their spawn must be like right there, which is a little surprising. I hear ya. Would have thought it'd be a little further forward, or the or the back line of the map a little further back. Could go around or could go underneath. Gonna go underneath. Keep things copacetic. Keep my fire starters in relatively safe positions to start this out. Oh. Commander? Also need to finish moving my fire Reporting. starters. So let's get that done. Of course. Kept waiting for the initiative track to come up. Turns out not going to happen unless you're done moving. There we go. And we're just going to reserve that right to the right to the get-go. Likewise, all y'all go. Just, uh, just do your thing. Feel free. I believe, I believe this is gonna be one of those situations where I try to get the double turn, make them move first, get the jump on something. Maybe literally in some cases with Paradise, and you know, I could death from above with the rest of the lance, but I think Angel of Death is such a powerful skill in terms of preventing the damage to your own mechs. Like, one good DFA, probably per match, per mech, unless you have Angel of Death, in which case you could probably get off... Th it looks like you could get off three in this fire starter without real hard problems. Let's see here. I'm gonna head, head to the hills. Let's move. Get down behind this ridge here. I think my lance is fast what enough to make this happen. You? So I'm going to go over here. Double time. Cut the corner. What do we got here? I got a 4G here. So there's one of the big guns. Waiting for orders. We're going to want to try and take that out as swiftly as possible. Not that I'm not afraid of the medium laser variant, but the, the thought of an AC-20 round hitting my fire starters is basically panic-inducing. So we're going to try and avoid that. Positions, new round, top of the order. Nope, I ain't moving. Let's see what they got. This guy's gonna move up this way. Slowly. Got a little flicker of a uh, line of sight there. Not sure where that was coming from, but... Looks like this guy's gonna be contestant number one. Alright, one of the four Ps. 
That's fine. We can we can make that work. So there's the other 4G. Oh no! Head down! Head down! Alright. Just the lead. Just a single wow. medium laser. Their targeting skills are not impressive. That seems alright. Okay, that where's the other 4G? Head down, head down! Why are they only firing their lasers? That's odd. I mean, I guess you don't want to waste the shot on a high movement modifier fire starter to start your party, but that doesn't seem great. Let's yeah. see. Alright, so I got the double turn. Let's make use of it. We're gonna roll him around out here. On my way. The uh, guarded position is not great for my weapons that are already not doing a whole lot of damage, but Roger. we're probably going to shut this guy down in the first rounds worth of fire. So I'm, not wor I'm not too worried about that yet. Let's see. I can move to here. Get rear armor. Don't need to tell me twice. Light her up. Already starting to get the uh, get the delicious, delicious crits running. I'm receiving you. Is this guy shut down yet? Nope. We need to apply more, apply more heat. Move order received. We don't have enough flamer ammo for everyone if everyone fires on the same target, but we can get close. Uh, let's see, light this guy up from his left side, which is not ideal, but the... Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna get behind him on a jump. I can get behind him on a jump. We're gonna take that. I'm gonna take the flamers off. Gonna stagger my shots from my team. But I'm definitely gonna get in on this action from the rear with my lasers. You like pain. Good. Check this guy out. 49 structure left in the CT. Now, double turn. Yep. Would love to present a target that's actually facing the direction of the rest of their lance. Uh, so, I'm going to move here. Blockade's kind of going to become a guinea pig. On it. And truth be told, I think I need to... Yeah, this flamer fuel thing is a real pain. Uh, let's do this. Let's fire one, see if we can tickle him into shutdown. I have the advantage. There we go. Nice. Got past his armor. Dang right, we did. All right, now that we got a uh, shutdown target, we're gonna take advantage Good of his go. right side, like it's going out of style. Flamers for now. Or work that right torso. Affirmative. Probably I might be able to get one more salvo in on the rear. Uh by. from somebody here. Wildfire. Let's do this. Turn around. Take the shot. Spare the flamer fuel. Go for the center torso. The center torso is looking at 18. This actually should kill. Which means the last shot that I took was kind of dumb. Not gonna lie. Hey, look at that. Drop one. And Paradise is just going to position himself for the next salvo. Let's see, what can we do? We can get three with mud or two. Four with mud, three with cover. We're going to take the cover. I feel blockade's probably going to be target number one. Which isn't great. 
It depends on... Yeah, no, they're all going to be able to move up. That is a lot of lasers. I know I've said it many times before, but damn, that's a lot of lasers. And here come the flying train engines. That's... Ow! Center of mass! That hurts. And it splits its fire for no reason. We love to see that. Why did you shoot at Showboat? Lucky it's standing right there. Oh, she has no movement modifiers. That's why. She's going to get drilled a second time. Yup. Oh, please be side torso. No, of course not. Of course she takes two autocannon 20 rounds to the center torso right from the start. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, that is the weakest sauce. All right. We're going to bail out. We're going to try and get that double move again. A double turn. I'm receiving you. Pretty sure they won't be able to pursue because this this hill has it's a ridge here and it's actually lower behind it. Reporting. Yeah, Paradise has plenty of movement to get wherever he feels is necessary here. Down, moving out. Oh, I can't believe that Shobo got drilled twice to the CT in the same round. That is just ah oh, man. That's rough. Alright, so if I'm going to take advantage of this double move, first thing I need to do ooh, is get in a position where I can reserve. I don't think... This guy, sh these guys should be able to move to about here and see Paradise next turn. I think maybe I double back now, because these guys are so far over here. This guy's close-ish, but there's this. Hmm. Yeah. All right, so I can get down to there. I can get down to there. Standing by. Can yeah. Uh. Awaiting orders. He's probably going to have to jump to make that work. Yeah, okay. That's fine. This is not the best. Trying to make do with a bad situation. I really want that double move, though. Hmm. Problem is, is I'm a little penned in. Um, out of curiosity. Wow, I could, I could just YOLO right out of here. I could jump for the hills and really break some lines of sight, hopefully. You know what? I'm curious enough. I think we've... I, we've proven that the uh, Firestarter refit's got the... It's got the juice for kills, clearly. Actually, while I'm up here, I'll also throw a guard on. I'm here. Let's, uh, let's try and use some of this uh, maneuverability. Paradise can friggin' rocket into the stratosphere with his fire starter. So we're gonna go. Here we go. Boy, howdy! If I wanted to get away from something, that was uh. About the most effective way to, to do it. All right, so now the question becomes: A, I have to get down off the rock for one thing, and this is a this is a hell of a rock to be standing on. I'll say that. Two, where do I come down that gives me good position? Yep. Also, I'm not helping my heat situation too much by doing this. Man! 
check that out. That's not ridiculous at all. All right. I might be able to get the double turn in a usable way here, but it's going to require that my first move is a jump down into the fray. That said, this guy might move and be able to see something. That said, that said, all of my mechs have six movement dots and a guard. So you know what? Let's... Let's just roll this out. So the goal here is for that guy to be too far away to help this guy when he's moved forward. When I jump down on his poor, poor butt and make a mess of him with all my guns. Yeah, that's right. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. All right. Okay, so I'm here. let's start with the back of the pack because that's the hardest part to make work here. Ooh, I can get just into it from here. Uh, here we go. Heat, heat is really turning into a problem with this, though, with all these jumps. Just get under the red line, and I swear to all that's good and holy game if you're lying to me. Light him up. Ooh, good solid heat hit. Put him on about half a bar. Okay. Standing by. Number two. Interesting. There's something I hadn't noticed before and makes total sense within the context of tabletop rules. The further you jump, the more heat you generate. So notice the heat scale on blockade there down on the left. As I move my marker further from his position, the heat scale goes up and up and up. So, we're going to run a little hot here. Definitely going to go over and overheat here, but I need to put, I need to put heat damage on this guy. And hopefully shut him down. Awaiting orders. Paradise actually can just walk over there and do his thing. Coordinates confirmed. So heat won't be as much a problem for him. But it should be a problem for this guy. Firing. Mech shut down. Easy peasy. Exactly what we're looking for. Didn't really do a whole lot of substantial damage to this guy, but I mean... What are you going to do? What I'm going to do yep. is uh, try and get my guys down here. And unfortunately, that means more jumps. Uh, you know what? Turn the flamers off, for one. Let's turn the small lasers off, too. Yeah, still overheating. But uh, this double turn isn't turning out to be as fantastic as I was hoping. This, this ridge right here is... Seriously screwing up my mojo. Hmm. Probably should have thrown the small lasers on that. Oh well. Yes, Commander. Uh, we're gonna save her flame or fuel. Hey, we can get the rear shot. I like that. Target locked. Engaging jump set. Strip that left side, oops, right side armor, and a knockdown, and the AC-20 crit. Ooh, baby. Just a quick check of the legs. Keep an eye on my Took heat, about Commander. 35 armor off of the 75 that was there. Reporting. Definitely don't need the flamer fuel here. Paradise. 
love to get in on his rear arc, but apparently there is no rear arc to work with here. Paradise says, still has all his, well, most of his leg armor left. Yes, Commander. As we go for ninja kicks. All right, what's what does these guys got? This guy's gonna come up. He might get a shot off on somebody here. Yep. All the lasers. All the more lasers. Ooh. Open up that rear panel on wildfire. This guy shouldn't get a meaningful shot off. Crossing my fingers. Oh no! Oh, ooh. Woo! Here came the train. Everybody out of the way of the train, please. And the random split fire. Oh, they don't like me at all. Right, this guy's stand up and power up, I guess, is his deal. Yep. So take the two and a half turn situation here. Um up field. Just want to get around this rock. Get the small lasers into this action. Heat's now not an issue. I'm on it. Ah, but cracking through. Oh, okay. Finally got through the armor panel. Waiting for orders. So this guy is nothing but a stick on legs. So I got that going for me. Uh, he does still have that small laser. He has 58 structure left I'm here. in the center torso. Oh, wildfire. Wildfire, sweetie. I need you to be in a spot where you can fire. Uh, this might be bad. This might be a bad decision. This might be hanging wildfire out to dry Confirm. with a laser disco party and a freight train coming in her direction. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, let's just take a quick think of this. 58 structure to the CT. She's gu almost guaranteed to hit everything. I can do 40, 55, 60 with those guns if they don't spread think I need to engage some of these flamers, but I was really hoping to save some of the fuel. Well, does her no good if she goes down with this flamer fuel intact. I'm going to fire two of them for now and hope that that... Oh God. You know what? No. Burn the fuel. Roger. Oof. All right, not gonna lie, I was a little worried that wasn't gonna work. Here comes the disco party. Uh, wildfire is gonna eat hard, hot laser. Wait, lol, what? Oh my, nope, all right, split fire. Not great, don't hit the leg, don't hit the leg, don't hit the leg, it hit the leg. Oh wow, this guy is spreading the love to everybody. Oh, damn it. Oh, that, oh, Meanwhile, Me. incoming autocannon fire has the right of way. Alright, I'm going to call shenanigans on that one. That laser clearly cut through a mountain. Last I checked, we don't have earth penetrating lasers in Battletech. Jerk. Okay. I'm receiving you. 
Time to uh, make ourselves scarce for another one of, one of those wonderful double mo double turns if we can manage it. All right, let's move. Unfortunately, blockade might be getting hung out to dry here. Awaiting orders. Which way are they gonna come from? It's a good question. Let's face this way. Confirmed. And blockade's gonna get drilled. Come on, make a mistake. Nope. Nope. Definitely not making a mistake here. <sighs> well, I am punching above my weight. Losses are to be expected. I just was hoping to maybe not take quite so many losses so quickly. Seriously? Ah! Uh, how did he get that line of sight? I guess. Waiting for orders. That sucks. That's su that sucks to a very stiff degree that I am very unhappy with. All right. Uh, maybe we can get a lucky shot in here and flamer this guy up into shenanigans town. I'm definitely going to be needing the focus for this. So let's cut the corner. Nice. Got a shutdown out of it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it exactly, because the prospect of chewing through this hunchback's armor from the front seems like the worst opportunity in the world. Down to a God, down to a small laser and a machine gun. Urgh. Go for the head. Hope for the best. Try and turn the guy into pudding. Confirmed. Yeah, I didn't think so. Ooh, I am, aside from a ticky-tack autocannon shot here, the two shots that drilled Showboat, I'm getting pretty lucky on the autocannons coming my way. Reporting. Wow, that was a suspect, suspect shot from the rear. small laser reach there I'm oh my god the amount of shenanigans that is starting to creep into the beta I'm starting to wonder there's no planet on which that gap gets cleared by a small laser yeah let's just take a quick look at this shenanigans Small lasers. Machine guns share the same range. I don't know about you, but that certainly isn't enough range to manage to hit with a small laser. You cheating SOB. So not only is the AI not good at its job, it cheats! It cheats so bad! 
get behind this guy and murderize him. 95% hit with the melee. Ooh. Now 43. Not likely to kill, but... Haha, <laughs> took away your gun. Paradise is going to have to get some just supremely good luck in his way. Wow, that's not a good way to start. Yeah, shot to the face ain't helping either. Laser, laser, laser. Left arm. Manages to take it. Yes, Commander. Can continue to get rear shots on this guy. Paradise is running out of time, though. Amusingly, not enough fury to get there. Small laser to the back. Center torso kills it. On hey! There we got there. Ooh, and the ammo explosion. Just for rubbing your face in it. Make sure you don't get that mech back. Because I'm sure as hell not getting salvage rights out of this match. Because... Here come. The laser fire. Ooh. Oh, you gotta be kidding. You turkey. <laughs> I have a single machine gun. I can make a charge. There's no reason not to. We're gonna throw the focus on this because he's not getting another turn. Let's let's all just be honest with ourselves. Let's get the melee attack going here. This guy got it, and he's completely fresh. Ugh, ugh, weak. All right, well. Hmm. Yeah, no, it makes no sense to try and go to the left. The left. It's just a bunch of heat sinks. Even if I got lucky and took the side off, which I don't think I have the capacity for. No, this is this is just. Yes, Commander. This is just flailing to flail as we put damage on this last hunchback. Daka 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 daka. Power's back up. I get one more stab at it. Reporting. Unless I get a lucky head hit. And even then, lucky head hit's not going to get the job done. I would have to take... I think it would have to take both the physical and the machine gun and a spare machine gun round somewhere in there. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you bet the under, you didn't get paid back. But if you bet the over, you also didn't get it. If you took the line, three hunchbacks, you made a good call. That said, honestly, I don't feel too bad about the performance of these refit fire starters. The, the lack of the medium laser range is a little bit painful, but to be honest, if you're coming with fire starters, you're not standing off at a distance to shoot. So... And missing the last 10 points of alpha that you lose switching from mediums to smalls is... I don't feel it's too significant. We certainly opened up a can of a couple of these hunchbacks. But as per usual, when you're bringing light mechs against heavier targets, don't, don't, don't go for the front. Go for the back. Go for the juicy bits. You've got the speed. Make it happen. In 18 rounds, 32 minutes, 36 seconds, as a uh, refit fire starter, I think I think this could have some potential in your future mech bays and on the battlefield, ladies and gentlemen. Again, drop the mediums for smalls, drop the machine gun ammo down to a half ton, move it to somewhere more protective, because we saw plenty of machine gun explosions in that first match. Slap a little bit extra armor on there, armor it up. And there you go, the refit fire starter. Thank you, Matthias, for your suggestion of taking a look at the fire starter. 
But that'll be all for today's Battletech in the morning. I am the tinkerer in the lab, Captain Nips. Hope all of you out there have a wonderful morning, wonderful afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are. And I'll see you all in the next video.